More points on the board, how do you feel? Yeah, I feel good. I mean, uh, what a weekend for our team. It's, uh, it's really been great and, you know, finally we had a bit of luck. It, it, it kind of went our way and, you know, um, after those four or five races recently that, that weren't good for us, but we had the pace, you know, it, it, it's hard not to uh, get down a little bit about it. And now, you know, the last two races we've been lucky and, you know, especially this weekend, we, uh, we just had a great qualifying, great sprint qualifying and then a great race. So um, I'm super happy. I had a bit of an engine issue all race, so I was just praying to God that it wouldn't blow up, uh, which it didn't. So I'm super uh, thankful for that, that I was able to finish the race with that problem. And you're kind of delivering these kind of performances without any upgrades. This must bode well for when they come for the future. Yeah, yeah, it's exciting. I mean, uh, it is, it is exciting, and I'm looking forward to seeing whether. You know, I'm not getting nervous for that upgrade. Maybe we shouldn't <laughs> use it at all. No, I, I, I mean, it's 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 very exciting and a great great. Position. Yeah, the stewards weren't really your friends today. It just looked like a tricky afternoon all round. I mean, yeah, I think we can just forget everything about yesterday and today because you know, we're dead slow, uh, probably the slowest uh, car on track at the moment. And uh, yeah, just a big shame to see uh, we're fighting for the, the, the last position. So I think we need a, a big reset and clearly need these new upgrades on the car as fast as possible. Yuki was saying it's maybe the worst weekend of the year. Do you have any, re any reason why that was the case? I think we haven't had any upgrades on the car for quite a, a long time now, and uh, yeah, we start to we start to feel it. So yeah, it's clearly not enjoyable, um, and yeah, I really really hope we can get these new parts uh, as fast as possible. Spassi, and for the second day in the row, you found yourself in the gravel, and I heard a team radio saying, "What's wrong with these people? Is it just frustrating driving standards?" Yeah, it is. Um, what do you make of the race generally overall? Uh, obviously disappointing. Um, yeah, I had a I had a piece from a car in front that landed on my front wing in the first lap. I don't know if that damaged the car already. After that, uh, we were quite slow and the medium tire was better. We were working through the field and then, yeah, uh, Pierre, I think, was a bit too keen and I was uh, off again. Um, yeah, after that, uh, I think the car wasn't in uh, the best in the best uh, uh, quality anymore and. Um, we just finished the race at the end of the pack. Alex, you were just a few laps away from a point. It must be frustrating. Yeah, frustrating, obviously. You know, we, we want to score points, that's the game. But uh, considering where we were yesterday, it was still a good race. So I was, I was happy with it. You know, we had our elbows out. I felt like, uh, you yeah, know, when I was driving, I, I knew what I was doing wasn't kind for the tyres. Um, but I had to push to, to try to keep Valtteri behind. So um, in the end, we got the dig. Um, but you know, it's our first proper race with a new package and we, we, we'll learn a lot from today and we'll look at the data and come back stronger in France. So as you learn from it, it must give you optimism then if at least you could race out there for points today and that is a step, isn't it? It is, it is definitely. And um, you know, we were, we were really the whole race matching more or less the McLarens. We got a little bit of traffic in here and there. Um, but I was really happy with our pace. I felt like, you know, this weekend we've definitely made a step forwards. Um, so yeah, positive.